We already talked about where you can find a lot of copper, many different places. We went ahead and filled up this entire jar, and then it was down to just melting copper. Copper's melting point is just below 2000 degrees Fahrenheit. While that was getting real hot, we prepped an anthill. Then we checked it, pulled the slag out, and we ran over to the anthill to pour the hot molten copper into it. We filled the anthill to the rim, creating a nice solid base, and about 10 minutes later we brought some ice over to go ahead and start cooling it off. We dug a massive hole in order to expose these inner tunnels and pull out this awesome sculpture. This copper colored anthill was probably the most beautiful anthill I've done. It could look so much better. It's pretty faint looking. There's no shine down here on the base. There's some nice shine on the top. But I really wanted to polish this up and see if I can make this more of a showpiece. The tool I'll be using is a Dremel. It works pretty well in small areas. I'll be using a wire brush attachment. There's many attachments that go on a Dremel. But I like the wire brush because it gets into the nooks and crannies and it doesn't take very much of the metal with it. With the outer part of the base done, I wanted to work on some of the chambers and the inner workings of the ant colony. This sculpture is really turning out. It's shining up really nicely. Yeah, it's not a mere finish, but I never said it would be. I really just like the color copper. It's probably like my favorite metal. I almost feel like I like it more than gold. I didn't want to go too crazy on the tunnels in the side of the ant colony because they're kind of brittle and this actually has a good bit of power. So I, I got in there where I felt like it was strong enough to withstand the pressure from the wire brush. And if an accident happens, hopefully I don't hit any of those fragile parts. I know so many people like to just one and done have their things and their projects done. But if I can improve a pre-existing project, why wouldn't I do something like that? All right, this is the after polishing of the ant hill cast. I didn't get into too many little tight nooks and crannies because that drill has a lot of power for its size and I really didn't want to risk, you know, breaking off one of these pieces because I wouldn't be able to fix that. You're probably wanting to remember what the before was, so here it is. You can see there's really no shine to the base at all and even the top just looks kind of crusty. Yeah, it looks good, but I can't say that this doesn't look better. I can't really complain, but certainly the base is a lot better looking. And then I, I polished the top pretty well too, uh, you know, in a lot of the areas that I could. So if you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. We'll see you next time. Thank you.